hey what's up guys welcome to this uh, tutorial of uh, web development uh, that is also without writing a single line of code this is basically no code web development and uh, we will be learning this with the help of the wordpress uh, if i'm just uh, showing you an example uh, this is the platform with which we will be working with okay so we will be working with the wordpress so wordpress is basically the free and the open source content management system written in php and paired with mysql and uh, mariadb as a database uh, okay so if you guys don't have the idea of uh, what is this uh, database and all so database is basically the place where all the data related to your website is stored and mysql is basically uh, it is uh, used in order to pass on the pass on the queries and get the desired results okay so when it comes to the wordpress wordpress is basically the platform uh, where you can build uh, different kind of websites uh, without having to write code so this is basically the no code uh, web development and uh, wordpress really makes your web development process really very easy and simple okay so over here when it comes to the web development with the wordpress you don't have to write code you just uh, have to install few plugins and uh, uh, everything works quite so uh, smoothly over here okay so uh, in this uh, first tutorial we'll be looking at the uh, this uh, introduction of the wordpress and all and uh, how you can build what uh, this website okay so just some of the uh, examples of the wordpress templates uh, wordpress uh, web develop wordpress uh, i mean these are some of the examples of the websites which are built with the wordpress okay so this is uh, one more example and over here they are just uh, showing how we can uh, build and all okay so this is just a landing page of the wordpress and when it comes to the uh, building website with the wordpress so if you want to build a professional websites then you have to uh, take their product taking the product in a sense uh, uh, first of all you will be in need of a domain name then the web hosting then people who are new over here who don't have the uh, idea of what is this domain name what is the web hosting then don't worry I'll be telling you guys what is this uh, domain name and the web hosting okay so when it comes to the uh, domain name so each and every website has this uh, link okay so this is the address of this website and this is basically known as the domain name okay so like Amazon dot uh, com mintra.com amazon.in then the flipkart.com these are the uh, domain names of those particular websites okay and these domain names are unique okay so uh, you there can be amazon.com and there uh, could be amazon.in it could be amazon.org okay so these are some of the examples of this uh, uh, domain names but uh, there cannot be a uh, to amazon.com okay so this is the uh, property unique property of uh, this uh, domain name that there could be only one domain name with the uh, unique uh, name you can say this is uh, some sort of username okay so each and every uh, website can have one unique uh, this uh, a domain name uh, two websites cannot have the same name this is the only thing which you have to remember and next comes the web hosting okay so when it comes to the web hosting web hosting is basically the place where all the data related to your uh, website is stored okay so when it comes to this uh, wordpress.com this data what has been displayed like these pictures uh, this text everything all this data related to the website is stored on some web hosting okay and uh, whenever anyone will go uh, to the uh, browser and type out this uh, name they'll be taken to this uh, website where uh, they will see this exact same output like uh, this same text this same pictures and all this is all because all this data is uh, stored on some web hosting and whenever anyone uh, goes to this address they will see this very same result because data is fetched from that web hosting where all this data related to this uh, particular website is stored okay so this is the uh, uh, basic definition of the web hosting and uh, when it comes to the web development uh, web development basically consists of making use of the web development languages like the html uh, okay so there is a, a like html and css uh, javascript okay so just some of the uh, languages which are used on, uh, at the front end in order to build the websites but when it comes to the wordpress you are not in need of uh, 
having to know any of this language because uh, WordPress really makes your development process easier. Okay, okay. So now uh, next comes the planning and pricing. Okay, so if you are really uh, if uh, if you really want to become a web developer then you will be in need of uh, this uh, you should uh, take the uh, first of all you should take one domain name and uh, second thing you should uh, have a web hosting okay so currently uh, if you just want to try to build your very own uh, website for free of cost then uh, start over here uh, which says start with free and you will be able to build a website uh, for free of cost but uh, whatever we website that you build will have a subdomain and that subdomain will be wordpress.com okay so if you are building uh, if suppose i am building a website like uh, akshay maikar okay so this is my name i want a website something like akshay maikar.com but if i am building that website for free of cost with the wordpress then uh, i'll have this uh, subdomain of wordpress okay so you can build a free website with the wordpress but the thing is that whenever you are building a website for free you will get this attach uh, domain name with your uh, website name if you want to build a website uh, with the name something like uh, this like akshay.com and all then uh, you have to take uh, professional uh, your very own domain name and the uh, web hosting and the uh, best platform for uh, to do this is the hosting uh, okay uh, hostinger uh, is one of the best platform and uh, this is the uh, place where you can get a uh, very good domain name and the web hosting at a uh, cheaper price i will tell you how to do that in the uh, next tutorial thanks for watching this is all about the introduction and in the future class we will see how to get the domain name and the web hosting from the hosting uh, thanks for watching hey what's up guys uh, this is a place where we have left uh, last time and uh, in this class we'll be looking at the uh, uh, introduction of the hosting uh. okay so this is the uh, definition of the hosting you can go through this this is not important but currently the thing which is important is the uh, what we can do with the help of the hosting uh. okay so first of all uh, you have to take uh, your uh, domain name that is the name of your website uh, where which you want to build if you're just going to the pricing uh, over here you will see the price like uh, uh, what is the cost of the domain name and what is the cost of the uh, web hosting uh, and uh, you will get this uh, price okay so this is the single web hosting that means you can host uh, only one website and if you are taking this plan you can host multiple website up to uh, this hundred websites and uh, this is the monthly package okay you have to pay 150 rupees per month and if you have uh, only one website and you have to uh, pay rupees 79 uh, rupees per month okay and uh, these are some of the features like uh, you will be able to host only one website then you will get the 30 gb of uh, storage uh, 30 gb of storage means this is the amount of the storage uh, which your website can have then this is the minimum of around uh, 10,000 visitors of load uh, that your website can take then you can have only one email account you will get one uh, SSL certificate I'll tell you what is this SSL certificate and all in the future and uh, you will not have the free domain you have to buy free domain uh, I'll tell you the difference okay uh, give me some time and these are some of the other uh, necessary things and over here um, if you take this uh, package you will uh, you will be able to uh, have or you will be able to host 100 websites then uh, this is the 100 GB of the storage you will get uh, then it can't uh, bear the load of uh, 25,000 visitors per month then you will get a free uh, email free SSL free domain free domain in a sense I, I have told you a few minutes earlier that uh, this is the domain name if you take this plan then you uh, don't have to pay separately for this domain name you will get for free of cost over here you will get free SSL certificate SSL certificate is basically required if you want to uh, make your website uh, this um, hack proof that means uh, you will get one ssl certificate uh, which is uh, required if you want to accept spam accept uh, payments online and all and this will also protect your website from getting uh, hacked and all okay and uh, you uh, you will get uh, unlimited bandwidth uh, you will be able to manage your uh, with the wordpress then the wordpress accelerator uh, acceleration is there that means your uh, website will be able to load faster and all then uh, 30 days money back guarantee is there then the unlimited database then the git access ssh uh, access etc etc okay from my point of view uh 
since uh, you are a beginner if you want to uh, just uh, practice uh, building the website and all then this is uh, the best plan for you all but from my point of view you should go for this one because uh, fr uh, even I am having my website and I have taken this uh, plan okay so this is the best plan from my point of view you can just uh, buy this plan and you will also get one uh, this uh, domain name for free and uh, now let me just tell you all uh, how to uh, take this uh, domain name okay just click on this and first of all you have to check whether the uh, name which you want is available or not okay so first of all you have to uh, see whether the uh, website name what you want is already taken by someone else or it is available okay so these are the domain names like the dot com dot in dot online dot net dot dot in dot tech okay and these are the prices of that okay so if suppose i want a website something like uh, akshaymaker.com i'll first check okay so whether this name is available or not okay so it says domain is available and this is also this will also give me some other suggestions okay so these are uh, some of the other suggestions which are available so uh, this uh, domain name is available okay so if i'm searching for something like uh, amazon.com this won't be available because it is taken by the amazon.com but uh, let me just show you all okay so it says domain uh, is taken since this uh, address belongs to amazon.com we cannot take it and this is not uh, available but there are some of the alternatives which are available if you want you can just uh, select uh, any of these if you want or you can just uh, change and uh, see something else okay so this is how first of all you have to see whether the domain name is available or not if it is not available you have to take something else and if it is available you can uh, have it okay so this is how you can uh, take the domain name and this is all about the introduction to the hosting uh, what is uh, domain name what is uh, hosting then how you can have your hosting and domain name etc etc if you need any further help just uh, do one thing uh, click on the link associated with this video and it will take you to one uh, another video uh, on my website where you'll be able to see uh, everything in detail okay so thanks for watching hey what's up guys welcome to this uh, next tutorial of the wordpress and in this class we will be looking at the introduction of the wordpress okay so this is basically the uh, dashboard of the wordpress what you are seeing over here if you uh, are anywhere uh, on any of this tab if you want to see the desktop just cl come over here click on this uh, dashboard and you will be able to see the dashboard okay so if this is not blank and if you want to make this blank then click on this screen options and uh, whatever that you want just uh, select it and all the options you will get on the dashboard over here okay so this uh, initially uh, your dashboard would look something like this and then whatever things that you don't want just uh, remove it okay so just uh, remove whatever that you don't want i don't want anything so i'll uh, remove everything okay and just uh, click on this uh, screen options and it will go so basically this is your main dashboard uh, where you can keep uh, whatever uh, options that you want and whatever that you don't want you can just uh, remove it off okay and uh, next is the post okay so if you just go to this all the posts whatever that you whatever post that you write on your website you will be able to see uh, over here okay so all the post uh, you can edit it you can quick edit uh, you can move them to trash you can weave them and you'll be also able to see the author if there are multiple authors on your website you can also see the category okay so all the posts that you see uh, that you have written you will be able to see them over here if you want to uh, add new post or write some new post on your website then click on this to add new or you can also click over here okay and you can add a new post you can see the categories <coughs> uh if you uh, want to add some new category then you can uh, do that i'll say study then if you want to give this log like the study material 
okay so if you want to give a slug to this category you can uh, do that uh, if you want to choose some uh, parent category if you want to give uh, uh, put this under some main category then you can do that also okay so if suppose I want to uh, put this category under this category of the news then I will put this under the category of the news okay then if suppose uh, I uh, this basically uh, comes into picture when if so uh, this is the news okay so this is the main uh, category and inside of the news there is like uh, uh, weather news then the breaking news etc etc so under such circumstances you can make use of this parent category so let me just uh, say breaking news and uh, I'll give this log as uh, breaking description is not required if you want to go give you can give and uh, there is one more I can say breaking news like the weather news okay and uh, yeah I'll uh, put it under this parent category of news only okay so this is how you can give these subcategories uh, there is no harm you can give the multiple uh, categories multiple subcategories and it works fine if you even want to give the categories under this uh, weather you can do that also okay so this is all about the categories then come the tags <coughs> okay so these are some of the uh, tags which are present over here like the work workspace time uh, etc etc if you want to give some more tags you can give uh, tags also okay so tags are just like uh, categories but uh, these are a little bit different okay so yeah when it comes to the post uh, post and all then the post is basically tagged with the text okay so all those things comes uh, under this uh, particular section of tags uh, next is uh, media okay so whatever uh, things uh, that are there on your website like the pictures images logos all comes under the media okay videos and all and uh, all those you will find over here whatever that you want you can keep uh, if you don't want something you can just uh, select it and uh, you can uh, do one thing you can delete oh, from over here you can say delete permanently or uh, you can just uh, do one thing just uh, select whatever that you want and uh, you can do some bulk action like you can uh, delete everything at once whatever that you have selected like you can permanently delete that etc etc okay so th these are some of the settings which are available over here if you want to upload some pictures on your website and all you can just uh, click on add new and uh, you can upload the new pictures and all okay next is pages <coughs> whatever pages that you want on your website you can uh, see those pages over here you can create those pages over here you can edit them like each and every web page basically has uh, by default home page about page so then the contact us page okay so these are some of the pages which your website has okay so you can create uh, those pages over here uh, currently my website is uh, only two pages which is home and home uh, it's okay uh, uh, basically a uh, website don't have two home pages but currently I'm having because this is the modified one and this is the old one and uh, I can even add uh, new uh, pages like uh, I can add the page of contact us then the about us etc etc okay so now we are over here I'll create uh, about us page then I will uh, write uh, something about me okay and once this is done I'll say publish and my page is basically published I have to write something about myself you can edit this with the help of the elementor I'll uh, tell you all afterwards what is this elementor and everything in the next class but uh, as of now let's just go back and uh, basically this is how you can create a page let me just refresh this so that I can see the about this page okay so whatever pages that you create you will find all those pages over here okay so this was all about the pages and in the next class we will see the all the other elements okay so thanks for watching hey what's up guys welcome to the course of the wordpress and previously this is the place where we have left now comes the part of the comments okay so uh, whenever you write post uh, on your website and all whatever comments and everything that you uh, get on your post you will see all those comments over here 
okay and you can uh, <coughs> control uh, your comments like you can approve them you can unapprove them approving in sense whether you want to uh, show those comments on your post or you can uh, or you want to hide them you can uh, control everything from over here this is unapproved i can just approve it you can reply to the uh, uh, comment what you have got you can edit it you can mark that as a spam or you can just uh, trash it in a sense you can delete it okay <coughs> and next is elementor elementor is basically the uh, plugin which is installed by me and because of that i have got this uh, tab over here uh, i would like to uh, ignore this as of now and uh, this also uh, because this or uh, both these uh, tabs I've got because of the plugins uh, next comes the appearance appearance is the main important uh, place because uh, this basically decides the uh, decides how your website should look okay so currently this is the theme of my website I can uh, change uh, how my website uh, would look how my website should look or how I can modify it uh, from this section of the appearance okay these are some of the uh, templates which are available which uh, you can choose currently if suppose i want to make use of um, this uh, template and i will say activate okay so now uh, this theme is activated i'll come over here and i'll refresh okay so now my website is completely broken because current uh, because previously i was making use of uh, this particular theme okay so that's why it got broken let me just refresh it okay so now it's fine okay so basically this is how it uh, affects your website you have, you have to do everything properly uh, next is customization customization is basically uh, changing if you want to change this logo if you want to change this uh, menu if you want to change this text uh, change this background whatever you want to change it uh, basically comes under customization and uh, for customization purpose we will be making use of uh, elementor plugin which i'll be showing you guys after some time but uh, from here also you can make some changes okay so if suppose uh, I want to change this then I can click on this pencil button then I'll come down below I can increase this size and I can decrease the size also okay so this is how things work okay so now it will change this size okay so this is the place from where we can uh, customize everything but uh, we won't be customizing anything right now let me just go back and uh, this widgets menu etc etc i'll be teaching you guys in the future in depth and in detail but uh, as of now let me just uh, tell you everything in, uh, in brief these are the widgets which are basically uh you can say small small um, changes i don't know how to explain these widgets okay so when it comes to the mobile phone mobile phone basically has something like the calculator calendar then the note to take the notes and all these are some of the widgets which our cell phone has okay and when it comes to the website website also has some uh, same sort of uh, widgets like the recent post comments etc etc which you can uh, show on your website if you want and uh, this is the menu menu is basically uh, what you see over here on the top this is the menu okay and you can customize uh, what you want on your website from here and uh, i will show you how to do that in the future and this is the starter template starter template is basically the plugin which i have installed which i'll show in the future but uh, right now let's just see what is the starter template uh, when it comes to the starter template basically uh, this gives you the uh, skeleton of a website okay if you are new and if you don't know how to build a website from the scratch then the, you can uh, pick one uh, template from this uh, starter template and uh, start building so if suppose I want to um, build a website something related to the school and all then I will uh, type out the school and there's some of the templates which are present I can make use of any one of them uh, for uh, for me if you are building the personal blog then I will 
type something like the blog and all and uh, i will select some template and i will make use of it okay so next comes the header and footer blocks this is currently not required any of these so don't pay attention and next comes the plugin and i'll be teaching you guys about the plugins in the next tutorial so thanks for watching hey what's up guys welcome to the course of the wordpress and in this class we will be looking at the plugins okay so previously this is the place where we have left and uh, let's get started so since you are uh, new over here uh, the first thing what uh, i want you guys to do is uh, install the elementor and uh, install uh, the starter templates i'll show you how to install this uh, both the things first of all come over here click on add new uh, if you have a plugin then you can upload it from here but currently let me just uh, show you how to install plugins so uh, type out elementor over here and uh, then you will uh, come to this page okay so this is the place from here to install the elementor okay uh, so this is the uh, first thing what you have to do uh, click on this uh, uh, install uh, you will get something like the install now click on the install now and once uh, it is done then you have to uh, click on activate okay so once it has been installed it will show something like the activate then you have to click on that activate it will be getting activated okay so this uh, elementor this this and uh, this okay so these are three uh, plugins which you have to uh, install and once you install them then you have to activate them one by one or you can activate them all at once from this uh, install plugins uh if you if you see this uh activate button activate button beneath them then just click on this activate and you will be getting activated okay so after that you will see the elementor option over here and if you see the activate button over here down below then just click on that activate and you can activate them you can also do one thing if you want to activate uh two three plugins simultaneously then just click on this uh, if suppose i want to uh, activate these three plugins simultaneously i will click on this checkbox i'll go to the top and from the bulk action i will click on this activate uh, then I will see this activate over here then I'll say apply okay and all these three plugins will be getting activated one by one it will take some time uh, and one more thing uh, you have to also uh, install uh, this uh, starter templates okay uh, just go to this uh, add new search for starter templates okay so this is that uh, uh, plugin just click on uh, install now and activate this okay and uh, with the help of this you will be if you uh, don't install this uh, install and activate this plugin then you will not get this option okay so inside of the appearance you will get the starter templates you won't get this option uh, so as a beginner you have to remember one thing you have to install elementor and uh, install starter templates okay so these are uh, important things because uh, these are required in by us in the future and if you have a new plugin which you have downloaded from somewhere from like google and all and if you want to make use of it inside of your website then uh, click on upload plugin then you have to choose a file or you can just drag and drop it over here uh, you have to just uh, click on choose file then you have to select it to where it is kept uh, uh, instead of the downloads wherever it is just select that file then uh, once you have selected your file click on install and uh, once it has been installed then you have to activate it okay so this is the place from here where you have to upload the plugin and uh, next is users okay uh, users is basically uh, the section where you will find all the users of your website okay so there is uh, one administrator which is me and this is uh, my profile and uh, um, well if suppose your website is all about the academic like the uh, teaching and all then you will see all the users like your students uh, professors administrate uh, administrator everything over here and you'll see their role okay so th currently my role is administrator so that's why i am say uh, seeing the role as administrator i can have the multiple administrators i can have the multiple students i can ha i have the multiple uh, book me five customers if you want to add a user then click on add new and you can add manually also okay 
uh, then you can uh, type out the username you can uh, type out their email id over here first name last name uh, if they have the website you can type out their website you can see the uh, this uh, password this is the auto generated password over here and uh, you can send user notification uh, if you want you can select their role whether the person is administrator then the author subscriber or you can just uh, select their role and you can add them to the database okay next comes the profile okay so over here you can uh, select the uh, color panel color panel of your website okay by default this is the uh, admin color panel i can uh, change the colors to something else if i want but uh, this looks blunder this looks better by default so i'll keep this default only and you can uh, uh, like select okay so this is the name of your website this is your email address then you can change your profile pic you can generate the password if you want and you can update your profile okay so whatever changes that you want uh to make as a user you can do it from this place okay so i think this is enough for this tutorial guys and uh, we'll see the rest of the things in the next tutorials thanks for watching hey what's up guys welcome to the course of wordpress and this is the place where we have left last time uh, okay so now let's just go to the tools and uh, okay so currently as a beginner these uh, things are not uh, important for you all so let's just skip uh, this okay so currently these things are not uh, important so let's just uh, directly jump to the settings okay so settings are important <coughs> okay so first comes the uh, site title okay so currently you see this appointment this is the site title what you see uh, the, you can change this from here okay so first uh, site title that you see the appointment right on the top and then you see this is just another wordpress site this is that uh, text ahead of it you can change both these uh, options like the appointment and just another wordpress website from this place site title and a tagline you can make these changes and uh, you'll be able to see those changes propagated over here and uh, this is the wordpress uh, address of mine and uh, this is the uh, site address by default uh, both of them are same and uh, this is the administration email id if you want to change this you can uh, change it from uh, this place and uh, next is uh, membership okay so anyone who registers uh, to this um, website like uh, as a user as a customer by default their new user role will be subscriber you can change their role to the customer like you can change the role to the shop manager or whatever that is i will change it to the customer uh, and uh, you can just uh, select this if you want anyone can uh, register if you don't want uh, anyone to register if you want a uh, few specific people to register to your website or uh, whether you want to add them manually to your website then you can uh, disable this okay so if you want anyone to register your website uh, through some form and all then you can click on this and uh, this is the site language by default it's the uh, english united states keep it uh, that way only this is the time zone if you want to change it you can change this this is the date format okay so how you want a uh, date to appear on your website okay i want my date to appear in this fashion this fashion this fashion whatever that you want you can just uh, select it and uh, this is the time format how you want your time to be shown on the website you can just uh, change it from this place and uh, and uh, this is a place from uh, where you can uh, select uh, from which day or week should start okay so week basically starts from monday if you want uh, your week to start from sunday you can just uh, make those changes and uh, whenever you make any changes just make sure that you are selecting those changes over here and next is uh, writing <coughs> okay so whenever you write any post this is all about the post and all okay so whenever you write any post by default if you have forgotten to specify the category of the post it will be uncategorized you can just uh, uh, set it to news breaking news whether i have already shown you how to create these categories and all okay 
and uh, default post format will be standard if you want to uh, change the post format you can just uh, change it from here whether the post format is audio video status code image link gallery whatever that is okay and uh, this is the uh, uh, post via email if you want to post something via email then there then this is the setting uh, where to set your login name then your mail server then the password uh, default uh, mail category you can just uh, select it over here okay and uh, next is the uh, reading reading is basically uh, it talks about uh, this uh, how you should uh, how a person visiting your website is uh, reading your visiting your website uh, looks at your website okay so uh, let me just uh, tell you all in the most specific way i don't know how to uh, do that uh, okay so when it comes to my website this is my website okay and currently this is my home page which says get a brighter smile from the lenders best dance uh, dentist etc etc but if you uh, don't want this as your landing page on uh, this uh, domain name then you can change it over here you suppose i want to uh, some i want to change it to the uh, about us page I will save this so I have created the about us page but uh, there is nothing on the about us page I will refresh this okay so now this was the about us page which was created by me and whenever anyone will come to my website uh, this is the first page what uh, that person will see okay this another uh, person will see the about us page because I have changed it from over here I can change that to home I'll save this so whenever anyone will come to your website what you want to show it to them you can uh, specify or uh, uh, declare that from uh, this particular option okay so now i want uh, them to go to this uh, okay so this is the another home page i have uh, told you all that i have two home pages this is that another home page that's why i got this uh, uh, different home page setting now let me just refresh this and this is that previous one okay so you can also select uh, whether you want to show some post and all okay so whatever you want to show you can uh, you want to show on this uh, main address you can just uh, select it from here whether you want to show the blog page uh, uh, then you can uh, select that also okay this is all about the reading and uh, rest of the things we will see in the uh, upcoming classes thanks for watching